In this video, we're looking at mixed problems, so sine and cosine rule, and when to identify when to use which one. So, if you have to use the sine rule, if you're given one side and two angles, you're going to use the sine rule, and it's going to find you an unknown side. If you're given two sides and one angle, you can use the sine rule to find an unknown angle. If you're given three sides, you can use the cosine rule to find the unknown angle, or if you're given two sides and the angle between them, you use the cosine rule. So you need to kind of look at what you're given and then identify which of the rules applies for that situation. So the best way to start is doing an example. So we have some rugby league posts that are 5.5 meters apart. And if a footballer is standing eight meters from one post and 11 from the other, we need to find the angle to score a goal. So with these type of questions, the best thing to do is start by just drawing something. So we're just gonna quickly draw up something here. Now we've got our posts over here, and we know that they're 5.5 apart, and we've got someone down here trying to kick a goal, all right? So over here we have eight meters, 5.5 meters, and 11 meters. Now that we've got all that, we look at what we have. Now we have three sides. Now at the top here, the only one that had three sides was the cosine rule. So we know we're using the cosine rule. And we're trying to find this angle here. All right, so the first thing I do is well, I'm trying, I'm using the cosine rule and I'm trying to find an angle. So I know I'm going to be using cos theta equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab. Now, we know that this is going to be my c, a, b, little c. So we can start substituting our values. Then we need to do our inverse cos. That'll cancel that cos out. So theta is going to equal inverse cos 11 squared plus 8 squared minus 5.5 squared all over 2 times 11 times 8. All right, now that comes out at 28 degrees and 27 minutes. So again, with these type of problems, it's important to draw something to start with identify what you're given so in our example here we were given three sides and then we go okay well which rule do we use when we have three sides and we use the cosine rule so again draw something look at what you've been given and then identify the rule you need to use to find what you need